Good morning children. Now we'll learn about comparisons. This is Aryabhatta High School cricket team. They won 4 matches. And this is AP High School. They won 5 matches. Which team performed better? You may say that the AP school performed better because they won 5 matches and Aryabhatta High School just won 4 matches but they played different number of matches like Aryabhatta High School won 4 out of the 6 matches it played that is 4 by 6 how about AP High School AP High School team won 5 out of the 9 matches it played that is 5 by 9 now here the fractions have different denominators one has 6 the other has 9 we cannot compare the fractions like this for that we need to make the denominators same so in order to know which team performed better let's make the denominators of the two fractions as same now what are the multiples of 6 they are 6 12 18 24 and the multiples of 9 are 9 18 27 36 now out of these which is the least common multiple well it is 18 so 18 is the LCM of 6 and 9 so let's convert the fraction to their equivalent fraction with the denominator as 18 we have 4 by 6 so to make the denominator as 18 we multiply 6 by 3 and the same way we need to multiply the numerator which is 4 by 3 because both the denominator and the numerator should be multiplied by the same number to get an equivalent fraction so let's do it 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12 now coming to the denominator part 6 multiplied by 3 is equal to 18 so we get an equivalent fraction of 4 by 6 which is 12 by 18 the next fraction is 5 by 9 in order to make the denominator same as 18 we need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 so let's do it 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 and the denominator 9 multiplied by 2 is equal to 18 so we got the two equivalent fractions 12 by 18 which is the equivalent fraction of 4 by 6 and 10 by 18 which is the equivalent fraction of 5 by 9 now here what do we see we see the denominators are same 12 by 18 and 10 by 18 so we can just compare the numerators here 12 is greater than 10 so what can we say 12 by 18 is greater than 10 by 18 so it means Aribhata school has performed better as the fraction value is greater for the Aribhata school so what do we say 12 by 18 is greater than 10 by 18 if we replace them with their equivalent fractions what do we get 4 by 6 is greater than 5 by 9 so this is the way to compare the fractions when the denominators are not same we need to make the denominators as same 
understood now coming to the next example this is khushi and this is anand anand got 16 out of 20 marks and what about khushi khushi got 17 out of 20 see here the denominators are same so we can just compare the numerators so 17 is greater than 16 which means that 17 by 20 is greater than 16 by 20 so khushi performed better than anand now this is aman Aman scored seventeen, but he scored seventeen out of thirty marks. So, what can be said? Seventeen by twenty is much greater than seventeen by thirty because Khushi scored seventeen out of twenty marks, and Aman scored seventeen out of thirty marks. so this means 17 by 30 is less than 17 by 20 understood now not just these three there is another student rajat rajat scored 13 out of 15 so out of this four children who performed better or who score was better well let's try to do it by making the denominator same for all these fractions so the multiples of 20 are 20 40 60 the multiples of 15 are 15 30 45 60 and the multiples of 30 are 30 60 90 so which is the least common multiple here well it is 60 so the lcm of 15 20 and 30 is 60 now let's make the denominator of all the fractions as 60 so coming to the first fraction 16 by 20 Let's make it denominator equal to sixty. For this, we need to multiply by three. We multiply the denominator by three and also the numerator by three. So let's do it. Sixteen multiplied by three is equal to forty-eight. The denominator twenty multiplied by three is equal to sixty. So we got an equivalent fraction. of 16 by 20 as 48 by 60 by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 3 next 17 multiplied by 3 is equal to 51 and 20 multiplied by 3 is equal to 60 so this is the next fraction with having the 60 as the denominator the next fraction is 17 by 30 in order to make the denominator as 60 what do we need to do we need to multiply the denominator by 2 so what do we get 17 multiplied by 2 is equal to 34 30 multiplied by 2 is equal to 60 so we get the equivalent fraction of 17 by 30 as 34 by 60 by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 2 the next fraction is 13 by 15 in order to make the denominator as 60 what do we need to do we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4 so what do we get 13 multiplied by 4 is equal to 52 and 15 multiplied by 4 is equal to 60 so again we got an equivalent fraction so what do we see 
Rajat got the highest with 52 by 60. The next is Kushi. She got 51 out of 60. Anand got 48 out of 60. And the last one is Rajat who got just 34 out of 60. If the denominators are same, we can compare just the numerators to figure out which fraction has the greater value. Now, let's replace the fraction by their original fractions. So, how much Rajat got? He got 13 out of 15. What about Kushi? Kushi got 17 out of 20. Next, Anand. Anand got 16 out of 20. And Aman got 17 by 30. And the order remains the same. That is, Rajat got the highest and Aman got the lowest score. 17 by 20, 13 by 15, 17 by 30 and 16 by 20. Their equivalent fractions are 51 by 60, 52 by 60, 34 by 60 and 48 by 60. What do we see here? Here all these fractions have a common denominator which is 60. Such fractions are called like fractions. So 51 by 60, 52 by 60, 34 by 60 and 48 by 60 are like fractions. Now if we see these fractions 13 by 15, 17 by 30, 16 by 20 they all have different denominators so they are called unlike fractions. So these are unlike fractions. Understood? That's all for now. Bye bye children.